everyone as you saw from the thumbnail we tried out groceries at dollar tree this week i've seen other moms trying them out and seeing what's available in their area so it kind of inspired me to see if i could cut my grocery budget a little bit more and try out some of the cool finds that i've been seeing from dollar tree so first off from our dollar tree and also by the way these items will be used in our meal plan for this upcoming week and that is a members only post click the join button below for more information to access a meal plan for a family of six breakfast lunch dinner dessert and snack for one full week and for January and February, I will be adding to that meal plan what we are using from our stock up pantry, plus what you see in the grocery hauls each, each week, so you get more of an idea of how we slowly stock up our freezer for January and February when our budget is a whole lot less, and still be able to eat nutritious made from home meals. So. Speaking of which, starting with right here, we have the apple snacks, uh, unsweetened applesauce. I have four girls, so this works out perfectly. I picked up one pack for them to try. And honestly, this was a let's let them try it item for um, them to have. So, yeah, I've never seen this brand before, but I, like I said, I just, I saw it and it's unsweetened applesauce. So, I thought I would give it a try. This is a Pillsbury cream cheese frosting. So we still had a few cookies left from Christmas and cream cheese frosting overall is usually everybody's favorite. We try it, see if we like it. I mean, it's Pillsbury brand, so it should still be good. So that was kind of like my goal. And if we really like this one, then I will go back and try their buttercream one because it looked like they keep, at this Dollar Tree I went to, fairly regularly in stock, they keep the Pillsbury cream cheese, chocolate, and buttercream frostings in stock. $1.25 for a jar of raspberry preserves. I have never seen anybody carry raspberry for $1.25 anywhere. So this was something I really am looking forward to trying to see if we like the flavor of it. Another one of liking the flavor is we like Pringles. And so this store had Pringles. Like they had actual Pringle cans. But the Pringle cans were... Yeah, compared to this huge can right here. So... We're going to try these and see if they taste just like the all i figure they'll probably taste more like the aldi spray one except all these doesn't put as much like artificial stuff in theirs as um other brands do but yeah i thought these would be fun to try and especially um you know with spring coming up and hoping hopefully getting to do some more picnics and stuff this year so this is the sour cream and onion one and then they also had a salt and vinegar like they had a variety of flavors that you could try this is $1.25 for imitation vanilla extract. Usually I buy the actual, like, actual vanilla extract. But I figure for $1.25, if we don't like the flavor, I can actually use it in a pot simmering on the stove in the winter to release some more um, humidity into the air. And the vanilla will smell really good. Another one that we wanted to try was we were out of lemon pepper seasoning anyway. So we figured of all the seasonings that they had available, why not try this one? This is the Healthy Choice Chicken Noodle. I prefer to get chicken noodle soup that has vegetables in it, especially when our crew is sick to try to boost the immune system back up. And I usually try to get a couple cans of chicken noodle every time we go shopping in the winter unless like we have plenty of chicken noodle soup to uh, just kind of keep on hand. So the Healthy Choice version was there. And again, for $1.25 a can. Now the Campbell's ones, I usually, and this is a Campbell's can, Usually I've been buying these and they're a little bit bigger than this can, but like I have not seen any Campbell's soup that's not like the bare basic chicken noodle soup for $1.25 a can anywhere. And this time we found the loaded potato soup from the Campbell's Kitchen Classics. So we're going to also try that one this week. One of the things that we did was, you probably seen the video by now of our um, kitchen pantry and refrigerator clean out and reorganization. Um, our spicy brown mustard had went out of date from uh, where we had bought some and then we just didn't use it as fast as we wanted to. So $1.25 to try the Deli Market brand to see if we like it I thought was not a bad idea. And then last but not least, this is the one item that surprised me. Apparently over Christmas, and I didn't see it during Christmas, or I would have done it over Christmas, uh, they had K-Pods. There are four K-Pods in this box for $1.25. Usually the average cost of a K-Pod is $0.50 cents a pod. This is four pods for $1.25. So yeah it's a, it's it's cheaper so we're gonna try these and see if we like them also vanilla creme brulee sounded like a really good flavor to try i don't know if dollar tree is going to carry these you know pretty frequently but 
we're kind of hoping that if we like them that they do because that's that's actually a really good deal for like flavored coffee pots and that is it for this grocery haul and if you're new and have watched this because you've seen other Dollar Tree grocery hauls and you haven't seen any of our other videos um, please click that subscribe button below because we do share grocery hauls each week and like I said for our members who support our channel at 99 cents in a, mo a month and uh, 99 cents in a month and you're going to get four meal plans at least each month breakfast lunch dinner dessert and snack for our family of six um, but then if you can't afford that right now, I totally understand and that is okay Just being here and liking and watching with positive comments and subscribing is a huge help to our family And we hope to be doing more Dollar Tree grocery hauls in the future and thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time